This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your NHL Play of the Day for Sunday, February 26th. We had a really great winner on sat on Saturday with San Jose Sharks. Puck line minus one and a half at a great price, plus 160. A plus 160 winner for us on Saturday. See if we can put another NHL uh, play in the win column for this Sunday card. I was going back and forth between uh, two games for Play of the Day. I considered the Florida Panthers. Uh, but they're laying a pretty st steep price, minus 160. I love the spot for them. They're off two straight home losses. Remember, they swept that West Coast road trip against a bunch of good teams. San Jose, L.A., Anaheim, St. Louis, Florida won all of those games against good teams. They've come back home. They've been a little bit flat, losing to Edmonton and Calgary in back-to-back -back home games. I think they bounce back today. Not crazy about laying a steep price like minus 160 with Florida. So for that reason... I didn't, I'm not going to use that as play of the day. I'm going to use this game coming up here for play of the day. We're going to look at the Buffalo Sabres taking on the Arizona Coyotes. It is the 835 Eastern t uh, puck drop for this game. We've got Buffalo, a minus 120 road favorite, total of five, five and a half. And the way I see it for the Buffalo Sabres is I don't think there can be any greater wake-up call for a hockey team than a loss to the Colorado Avalanche. And in fact, I had a bet on Colorado last night in that victory they notched against Buffalo 5-3. to three. Buffalo coming off the bye. We've talked about that trend. Teams off the bye are now 17, or teams facing teams off a of bye are 17-6. and six. The teams playing that first game following the uh, extended break in the NHL this season are just 6-17. and 17. Uh, on the season, so the results have been terrible for teams playing that first game following their extended break bye week, and more of the same for the Buffalo Sabres last night in that 5-3 loss coming off their bye uh, against the Colorado Avalanche. But I think that loss, you know, now they get the rust out of their system. They've got a game under their belt. I think it's a good thing they get to play second night of back-to-back -back games here, uh, taking on this Arizona team. I think you're going to see a much sharper, better and a, really a more desperate performance from Buffalo because they know their opportunities to climb back into the Eastern Conference playoff race in the NHL. They're slipping away, uh, so they need every win they can get. Uh, I think you get a good effort from them. Uh, this is a tough spot for Arizona. I give Arizona a ton of credit. They've been very, very competitive of late. They've been winning more games uh, as of late, uh, but they've lost two in a row on the road at Chicago, at Dallas, got outscored 11-5. to uh, in both of those games, there's no telling if Mike Smith is going to be back in net. He's been uh, battling an injury this past week, a uh, concussion. Uh, we'll see if he'll be back in net for this Arizona team. If not, you're going to be looking at Louis Domingue uh, or Merrick Longhammer uh, in net for this team. And I don't trust either goalie. Uh, regardless, even if Dutt Smith does play in this game, this is the third game in four nights for Arizona, all with travel involved between games. Not uh, a spot where we, they might be sluggish, a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued. Whereas Buffalo, even though it's second night of back-to-back -back for them, they had the uh, extended five-day break before that. So this Buffalo team should still be relatively fresh. I think after losing to Colorado, they come with a real sense of purpose, real sense of urgency tonight, and take care of business. So let's go ahead and let's make our NHL Play of the Day official. Buffalo, minus 120, rotation number 63, the Sabres, as Rick Jennerette would say, minus 120 against Arizona. That's going to be the Play of the Day in the NHL for Sunday, February 26th. All right, that'll wrap it up. I am Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Until next time, enjoy the game. Go to SBRodds.com, browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.